This is the audio log of Medical Supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about... Demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office.
Making progress, Marine? Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. Progress, Marine. Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need. Decontamination process is done. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Decontamination process is done.
you've gone. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. We don't have much time. Get that plasma inducer. Sir, quickly! Time is running out. Find the inducer and get back here quickly.
Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown <laughs> treatment was unsuccessful. Initial psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity, and thought processes within normal range. Paranoia being the only psychotic element directly evident. Reference interview G8A. Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Steve Jensen, male, age 27. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. They, your colleagues, aren't doctors. Let me help you. Help? Nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of 72 hours reveal rapid deterioration of both physical and... ...mental capacity with behavior... Medical Report 16-8, dated November 2nd, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UA... You see, dark light on the core division. Systems active. Access denied.
16-8, dated November 2nd, 21. Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division expired yesterday at 1543. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions.
Alon systems deactivated. Medical Report 16-8, dated November 2nd, 2145. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood. I mean, it's real fire and brimstone stuff. At first I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but... The last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel. He's tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation room, this really freaked me out. I'm gonna put him for a transfer as soon as I'm able.
That will get the teleporter working again. Now, you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. The... those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get it to someone so this never happens again. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it is difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood. It's real fire and brim... My name is Ian McCormick, and I am a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm the Truber in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video long to let someone know what happened. With that knowledge, prevent it. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing, were creating a new science, and the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were not Decontamination process is done. such an amazing project that someone as talented Decontamination complete. We noticed it probably before we completed maybe a dozen successful tests that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level. Transported and then reassembled. Each stage in the process should have been instantaneous. It, it wasn't, and we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the drone. We just found a living, living creature that was not human. Trooper immediately set out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. <sighs> I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I, I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. It seemed he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in about once every two days. The teams were reporting nightmarish experiences, sightings of things that ultimately made us look wounded. The other dimension was not just another dimension.
systems activated. Teleportation is T minus three, two, one.